Hey guys, welcome back. This is MG, and these are things I wish I knew before for Nino Kuni Cross World. We just got our hands on this game. This game has been out on the uh, Asian market for the last year. This game is on PC, Mac, and on mobile phone. We're actually having a blast playing this game, and these are some tips and tricks that we think might be helpful uh, for you. So, yeah, enjoy. So, we have five characters in this game, and all of them are awesome but the main or the best two characters are the swordsman and the witch these two are the best the swordsman is the best overall the witch is fast and very very powerful then comes the destroyer then the rogue and finally the engineer so when you are choosing one i just ask, suggest you to choose like either two but you can actually like have multiple characters uh, per username per server and you can finish the game choosing whichever character did mean you want so it doesn't matter i actually like to finish the story but if you, if you like them but these two are the best and for me i went with the uh, swordsman uh, as you will uh, see and he's awesome uh, the second point is about leveling up and unlocking uh, you know like more features and systems in the game so i suggest you to do all of these side quests and the main quests uh, not only you'll unlock new systems in the game you'll also level up fast so do these as soon as uh, possible because the number of XP uh, you'll get here is huge compared to like you exploring because I know the game is amazing and you will just spend a lot of time exploring and getting sidetracked. Uh, don't do that. <laughs> Play through the story, uh, unlock the systems, uh, level up, you know, like get better material, then uh, continue. And as you can see, I'm just going to show you like a main quest. Of course, the game, uh, you can do everything uh, by auto. You can touch it. As you can see, this is a main quest and I'm getting like around 27,000 uh, EXP. That is a huge amount. This is from a main story. And if you do a side story, you'll get like similar amounts as well. As you can see here, just done. And I'm going to get the material and everything. By the way, of course, you're going to be unlocking more material, better material as you level up because the area materials are bad. Here, as you can see, I'm just fighting with the normal monsters and I'm getting eight, uh, one XP. So I have to like beat like, I don't know, 27,000 to get that amount of XP, which I got from a main quest. So yeah, uh, like I said, play through the story. Uh, you will unlock the kingdom system. You will unlock the mounts. You will unlock the dungeons. Uh, you will unlock the, the labyrinths. So these are not there uh, early on. But as you play, you will unlock these things. I mean, this will be helpful for you, uh, like transport itself, of course. I mean, because you will be walking all around, especially if there are areas that you haven't unlocked, you cannot like fast travel to them. So you have to like unlock these mounts to make it uh, faster to get these, these areas. And as well as you will unlock the kingdom later on if you play through the main story. So that's another system where you'd be able to earn a lot of rewards. Then we have the Labyrinth of Dreams. Of course, this is like uh, the... Uh, abyss in the Genshin uh, impact so if you have seen that so this is like also like you're like fighting off uh, waves of after waves of monsters and you will be getting a lot of items so yeah do play through the story and main quest and you will be unlocking all of these uh, next is the daily rewards and the weeklies and the dailies uh, quest uh, the game wants you to come back and, and open up the game there is the daily seven day check-in there is this monopoly like game where you have like two rounds and you can also get more if you go and do these uh, side quests like you'll have more twice and they will give you uh, items so not only you'll have your seven daily checklists but you have all of also the other uh, rewarding systems and each day they have like multiple tasks and for each task you'll get uh, different rewards as you can see here like we have three days and this is day three and for each day you have like multiple things and for each one of them there are requirements so uh, complete those and you will get uh, the rewards and they are awesome they will help you a lot you get a, get a lot of cash a lot of material for your weapons to upgrade and also the game wants you to take breaks and you will be actually getting like uh, ai will give you rewards for like l the last 24 hours so after 24 hours come back to the game so relax come back to the game and enjoy it and also buy these daily perks i mean i bought this uh for like it's like in-game currency not like real currency you don't have to buy with the real currency actually and the game also like puts these uh exclamation marks so you know what to uh, what to check and i also buy these two dailies for the twenty thousand each uh, i'm not spending real money it's as long as you're not paying any gems or real money so i think that should be fine of course if you want you can pay more 
But yeah, check anything that comes with an exclamation mark, and that should really, really, really uh, help you out, and you can be able to pick up everything if there are any the new records, uh, new dailies and the weekly items that you can check or daily quest you can do. So as soon as you log in, click the bell button, check all of the things that you can do, uh, which you can uh, retrieve and claim, and then move on with the other stuff. As I was suggesting earlier to complete the main stories and do side quests because to you'll unlock new systems, later on you can go to missions and you can go to the dailies where you have certain tasks that you can complete and you will get certain rewards for them. So yeah, that is awesome. And But yeah, finally, and the last thing that I want to talk about the daily rewards is the swift solutions. This is something that you can do every day. You have like five tasks. Check if they are rare because you have like rare, you have normal and premium. Rare is the best. As you can see, I have one rare. I'm just going to do that. You can pay money to finish it off. I, I, that is something that I do, actually. But if you don't want to do that, then uh, you can play them. Or also, if you don't like the rewards, you can refresh them. But bear in mind that the refresh cost will increase per refresh. 1,500, I'll click it. Then it's going to be 3,000. And as you can see, I get I got nothing. So I'm paying another 3,000 just to refresh them again. You don't have to do this. You know, As you can see, I just got another premium. All of them are normal. I just got like one premium. So I'm just going to accept that. But yeah, but so do them or, or skip them, whatever it is. I usually skip them in my case, to be honest, fairly honest. And one more point is the using or wasting your materials. As you play through the story, you will get a lot of material and you will get a lot of weapons. So, and don't use upgrade materials on low level weapons. Always use them on high level, three stars or four stars. Anything below three stars, even if it's a weapon or an item, do not waste the materials on them. That is an advice. In fact, there are like other uses for them. So if you find three stars and four stars, go ahead with it, upgrade them. It's rare to find three or four stars. But yeah, what to do with these uh, low level items? You can actually dismantle them. So anything that you don't use, level uh, star one or, or two stars, uh, just dismantle them, use these materials for your better weapons or better equipment. So always, always, whatever weapon I find, like three star, two star, sorry, two stars, one star, if it's a weapon or equipment, I just immediately go and dismantle them so I can give, gain all of these uh, rewards and or items, then I just use these items and instead of wasting it to upgrade my three star and four star equipment. Then I'm gonna talk about the co-op, the co-op and their benefits. Actually, uh, you can create parties and you can invite people to your uh, parties. You can invite your friends if you have them, or you can invite random people. So the good thing about it is like the more members you have, your gold rate percentage and the drop rate percentage will increase with more members you have. You can have up to five people in a party and you can just play through the game, do the side quests and everything, just enjoy around and you will be able to get a more extra you know cash and, and better uh, luck with item drops so i just invited my friend who was in the list and i'm just inviting random people whose levels are actually high they don't have to like join me but at the same time you can like summon members and send the recruitment uh, message in the chat and people will respond to that if they are like happy they want to join they are like sending a request i will check their level check their cp which is the combat power and i just accept them you don't have to accept them but you can accept them as well so this is something amazing uh, to do. There is, it's not like you want to like tackle on like you know daily bosses or like big monsters. You can actually uh, just uh, invite them there and just do anything. As long as they are there, you will get higher rates of gold and and higher rates of, of monster drops. So that is something I recommend. Uh, also, if you can't. Uh, see your friends on the map make sure that you are on the same uh, channel if they are like in different channels you will not be able to see them uh, on the map they will because uh, like if they're in the same channel and, and if they're in the same uh, party their icon is going to be a blue icon on the map so if they're in different channels then unfortunately you cannot see them so make sure both of you or all of you are in the same channel uh, it changes by the way sometimes if you move from one city to another city i don't know why but if it happens just make sure you guys, like both of you are on the same channel so you can see each other, just have fun and, and enjoy. It doesn't mean that they are not there. I mean, you can be nearby, but you will not be able to see uh, their icon. So yeah, this is something that you need to like uh, focus on. The shared inventory, this is actually an amazing uh, feature. When you create an account and you choose a server, 
you will get the option to choose one of the five characters. And you choose that character, you play around, you get a lot of material, you finish maybe the game, and you want to change to another character to play around. So you can do that. You can go and choose another character in the same server, but what happens, of course, they're gonna be level zero. But the good thing is, I'm just gonna click the gear here, I'm gonna go to the account, and I'm gonna select that character. So the good thing in here is like, even if I start with a new character out of the five, uh, first, the name is gonna be the same because I was Murad Zero, so I'm still gonna be Murad Zero on the same server. So even though this character will be like level one, but the content is shared. Everything that I have obtained using the other character, she will have access to that. Even the weapons, but of course, she will not be able to pick, I mean, equip them because uh, she's a different class, but you can see everything else, all of the familiars, mounts, everything she has access to them, even being level one. So this is really something awesome. So you can like have multiple characters, you know, playing around. And also, when you like bring in this new, I mean, uh, player or new uh, character in game, all of the cutscenes, all of the dialogue can be skipped. So the game is really, really friendly on that. And you can change the characters anytime you want. So that is an awesome feature. And you can see here, everything is there, even though there she is level one. So if you like are level 99 and you start with another, let's say, destroyer or engineer, everything is there for them. So this is something awesome in this game. Another feature of the game where it tells you actually as a tutorial is the weapon uh, elements. There are five weapon elements. We have the, the water, the fire, the nature, and then we have the light against the darkness. So the thing is that you'll be playing the game on auto, sometimes you're not realizing, but look at the health bar of the monsters. Make sure that you have chosen a weapon that these monsters are weak against. For example, they're red, then choose the blue element weapons, which is the water, to be these uh, fiery monsters. You can see here, the, uh, the fire is weak against the water, then the green is weak against the fire, then the water is weak against the, uh, the, the green or the earth. Or the, as you can, on the other side, the light against the darkness. So this is something the game tells you about, but just make sure that you are always aware and you're choosing the correct elements when you're fighting. And you can see it really makes a difference. The blue are monsters, so they are like blue, so I need to choose a weapon that is green, which I don't have. So I choose either the same or different. Another feature of the game is the linking of the account. As you know, this game, actually like one of the worst thing uh, in this game, or in a good thing at the same time, is uh, to be able to play this game on the PC or Mac, you have to create an account using your mobile phone. And only on the mobile phone, if you go to the settings and if you go to the accounts, you can actually link accounts. Not only it will increase your uh, what is called uh, safety or security of the account, at the same time you'll get rewards. So you'll have more linked accounts where you can access this uh, game profile, and at the same time the game is rewarding you with 30,000 gold, which is a lot at the beginning. So yeah, make sure you link as much as you can and enjoy the game. Another thing is the vistas and the treasures. When you're playing through the main story, the game will just showcase or takes you to one of the vistas in the Evermore area. Actually, each area has these uh, vistas. So go and do collect them. At least do touch them, because what happens, not only you'll get these amazing uh, views, you'll also get these stat increases. I mean, you can see 94, combat power is applied but also the attract and the HP recovery has increased in this area so every area has them if you go to the record you can check them out and you will get these hints where they are and go and collect them or go and touch them another thing is the uh, treasures every area has treasures as well so you can check them from the records and try to find them in each area you will get a lot of rewards and a lot of items and at the same time some of these treasures they require keys and I'm gonna come back to the keys because the keys you'll only get them through the quests and sometimes from the monsters. You can see each area has these uh, chests and I just found one of them. There are like many more to find so do dig around and as I said the keys you can only get them through quests and through beating uh, the, the monsters. So yeah, do check out these vistas and the chest in every where or every new area you go. Last but not the least is the fast travel system. This game is a saver. Even though it costs you, to be honest, like sometimes you to, to travel, but it's nothing. It's really nothing. So the first thing I just uh, talked about is the mount. So try to get that mount because like sometimes you have to walk 
or like uh, if you have a mount, you can ride that mount, especially to areas that you haven't like progressed through enough. So if you're playing through the main story, you go to a new area, but if you haven't like finished certain missions, you can only travel there like by walking, like auto walk or auto move. But if you have like been there and it's an area that you have unlocked already, you can fast travel and pay like a small uh, amount. You can just immediately go there. So you can actually like go to a map, open up, and you can see all of these uh, swirls. These are locations where you can just teleport to or like fast travel to. If it's an area that you have visited before, then you can immediately fast travel. If it's not, then you'll just walk all the way there. And if the area is like too close by, you cannot like travel. Uh, I mean, fast travel to it, <laughs> unless you're far away. If the area is in the same map, you don't have to pay any cash, but if the area is in a different map area or a different map, then you have to pay uh, cash to get that. As you can see here, I'm just gonna go far away, then I'm gonna travel in the same area without paying anything. You'll only pay when you're going to a different area. And yeah, guys, that's it. Actually, these are uh, all of the things that I wanted to discuss. Hopefully, they were helpful. If uh, they were, then please do subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram. And as always, guys, stay awesome. And thank you for staying with us until this time. Peace.